Have you been thinking about a Jackery solar generator for your RV life or your off-grid needs or maybe for in case of emergency, in case you have blackouts or whatever in your sticks and bricks life? I recently got a Jackery Explorer 1500. I've been using it for about a month and today I'm going to tell you all about hey everyone, it. everyone, I'm Carolyn. Welcome back to my RV off-grid life. So if you remember, if you watch me regularly, I got a Starlink recently and while Starlink has been a game changer for my RV life, it does have a power draw that I don't normally have, especially after dark. And so I said I needed an external battery source besides my house battery and thank you very much uh, Jackery. They sent me this Jackery Explorer 1500 to test out and tell you about it. So I've had it for about a month and I want to thank Richard for reaching out, a longtime viewer reaching out to Jackery and they sent it to me about a month ago. So I wanted to really try it out and get to know it before I tell you about it and let you know what my thoughts are about it. So let's get started. Let me show you how I get it set up. Let me show you how it works and how Jackery has really been a game changer for me as far as what I can run after dark and how much battery I need, especially Colorado this year. A lot of rain, a lot of clouds, so my batteries aren't always getting fully charged. So I've really been relying on this thing a lot. I don't even know. I don't know how I lived without it. So let's go ahead and get started and I'll show you how to set it up. The whole setup comes in three boxes. The portable generator comes in one box along with all the hardware that you need. And the solar panels come two per box. So 200 watts per box. And check it out. I really like all the attention to detail that Jackery puts into their product. Everything you need, all the cords and everything, comes in this hard case it, so that you can stay organized. I don't know about you, but I have baskets and boxes full of wires and connections and I don't even know what they go to anymore. So this helps keep everything organized for your Jackery. So inside you have all of the connections that you need to charge your Jackery solar generator. So you've got the power cord if you want to plug it into AC, a regular 110 outlet, right? So you've got the, the big block here and then the connector. So both of these are in there. And of course, this is to use if you have the generator on or if you're plugged into shore power. You can just plug this into any 110 outlet and it'll charge. I think that's the fastest way to charge it. You've also got your DC charger so that you can plug it into any DC outlet, your cigarette lighter on your vehicle, or if you have any DC outlets inside your rig. So you just plug it into a regular cigarette lighter outlet and uh, plug this end into the Jackery and you can charge it that way. And then you've got these which are for the solar connections so everything you need to connect it to solar are on the actual solar panels to get the fastest charging time you should you should connect all four solar panels and the jackery itself has two inputs and everything here goes into those same inputs so this is for solar for DC, see they're all the same. They all go into the same two outlets and even the AC charge, the, the regular electrical outlet. You plug it into the outlet and every end is the same that goes into the Jackery's two ports. So this allows you to connect four solar panels into the two outlets, right? It's a, I don't know what they call this, a splitter, I guess. So this plugs into the Jackery and then you plug one solar panel in here and another solar panel in here so that you can connect four 100 watt solar panels for optimal charging time. So I just love all the detail here. This nice case that zips up and then inside, of course, you have your user manual and it's nice, heavy, waxy paper. So you don't have to worry about it getting ruined over time, you know, getting wet and you can't read it anymore. It's nice, heavy, wax, um, waxy paper. And look at they even give you stickers. <laughs> That's kind of cool, huh? Look at that. Yeah. So very impressed with the attention to detail. You know, this is what you pay for uh, when you get premium products. You know, the attention to detail, all the little things that make your life easier, that make all of the components that go with it easy to find and easy to store. So I'm really happy with that. 
And you know, like I said, the attention to detail, these little, this is, it may seem silly, but it's important to me living in an RV because things get lost all the time. So the fact that they attached the Velcro to the wire so that it's not just gonna fall off and get lost, it's attached to the wire. So when I wanna store it, I don't have to go searching for the Velcro to tie it up to store it. It's right here attached. And uh, they did the same with the solar. And I'm gonna show you that here. Easy storage. So there's a couple things you should know about the Jackery Explorer 1500. Number one, the battery itself weighs probably about 20 pounds. It's not light. So if you're older and you can't lift a lot and you can't lug heavier things around, that's definitely something to consider. You could get a little dolly for it to get it in and out. Uh, of your RV, but yeah, it, it, it is not a little light battery because it has so much power, because it stores so much energy for you to use over long term, it's not a light battery. So that's one thing. The other thing to consider is you cannot leave it out in the rain. It can't get wet at all. They say that you can't even use water to clean the solar panels. So what I do, because we get, you know, these rain spurts here in Colorado, I just keep my tarp out and when it starts to rain, I go ahead and just cover it in a tarp. Full disclosure, it's gotten wet a couple times. You know, a couple sprinkles on it and it hasn't deteriorated the quality of the solar panels so far. I wouldn't do that a lot. It's kind of been an accident. I'm pulling the tarp over it after the rain and it gets a little water on it. Mostly you wanna protect the electronics that are attached to the solar panel. Uh, so definitely you want to just be mindful that you can't just leave it out in the rain like you can some of the other solar panels, the ones on my roof, for example. So check it out. So it's got stands on it that attach with Velcro. So two stands so that you can, you know, set it up like that. And, uh, and I love this. <laughs> so it's got a zip pack, a zip pouch to store the electronics in. So how awesome is that? Again, I love the attention to detail in that everything is attached. I don't have to go searching for cords that are gonna get mixed up in a basket with everything else. So if you're just gonna plug in the just one, just two panels, then you keep this end on. This is the end that goes right into the Jackery. And again, I love that it's attached to the cord, so I'm not gonna lose it. I don't have to go searching for it. So if you're just gonna plug in the two, then it can go directly into the Jackery. But if you wanna plug in all four, that's where this comes in. And so now I just store this inside the pocket. You know, one, one goes in here and one goes in another one. And if you wanna use all four panels, this end goes into the Jackery. You take this end off and it goes into the splitter, just like that. Ta-da, look at that. And I'll do the same on this one. There we go. And now I have 400 watts of solar connected to the Jackery. And if you look at the display, there we go, 300, can you see? Let me see if I can get out of the way. 377 watts, 1.8 hours until it's fully charged. So it's at 63% and it'll be fully charged in uh, just under two hours. So right now I've got no output. There you go, look at that. How awesome is that, right? Look at that, it's got a flashlight. Nice big flashlight, look at that. This is a cigarette lighter charger. So anything that you have that's a cigarette lighter that you put into your regular cigarette lighter. So my GoPro, I can plug in here. Then you've got your USBs and you've got, <laughs> look at how awesome this is. You've got your quick charge, you've got your um, five volt, two amp USB, you've got your USB-C. So you have a lot of choices here. You can plug in, so, and you can plug in all three things, you can plug in this and this at the same time. So when you do plug things in, you need to you need to turn it on so that it activates these, so that it's, you know, starts sending power there. Turn it off when you're not using it. And same for the USB. If you're gonna charge your USB, this is your DC. So if you're gonna be charging things there, you need to turn it on. So you turn it on, you see the light went on and my GoPro 
is charging. So that's the DC. So the Jackery Explorer 1500, I've been really, really happy with it. It's super easy to use. It charges pretty fast. So uh, I'm really happy with it. It's been, I've been like now I have had it a month and I don't know how I lived without it. <laughs> it's been really a nice addition to my RV life. And especially now that I have Starlink, I'm going further off grid. I have no cell signal. So I'm relying on the Starlink for all of my cell signal and internet connection it which is drawing some power out of my house battery and so i've been using this every day 20 hours at 85 percent with my uh starlink and my laptop with the jackery charged at a hundred percent I can plug in my laptop, which is my big Alienware laptop, takes a lot of power, and my Starlink, and it lasts about three days. And that's using it four hours pretty much every day. It's been really cloudy. I've had a lot of rain, so I'm not getting a lot of charge on my house battery. So I'm using this sometimes four or five hours a day, and it's been lasting... Uh, been lasting two three days at least four hours probably three days i can get a full i can get out of a full charge so it's been really nice also there is exciting exciting news from jackery they're launching a brand new product in berlin germany on august 31st at ifa 2022 it's called the sg 1000 pro and it's so special they wouldn't even tell me about it they just said it's something big it's something exciting we're launching it August 31st, so be on the lookout for a brand new exciting product from Jackery, the SG-1000 Pro. So launching in Berlin at a huge international technology show, so it's going to be exciting. And if you're interested in checking out the Jackery Portable Generator 1500 for yourself, check the video description for a special link and you'll get $347 off. So that's $347 off using the link in the video description. So check it out today. There's also a special offer for the new 1000 Pro that's coming out. The first 300 people to purchase will receive a free prize and there's also a link with more information on that in the video description so again I want to thank Jackery and Richard for making this possible and also this video I hope you found it really helpful I know a lot of you are looking for backup battery sources because especially with winter coming the days are shorter if you are a minimalist as far as the amount of solar you have on your roof and you only have two batteries, you can only store so much power. So with the longer nights coming up, you're gonna need a lot of times a backup power source, especially if you work on the road, you're gonna need, you know, you need to run your laptop longer or, you know, if you have a Starlink, you're gonna need to run that longer. So it's really good to have a backup solar generator that you can use and this thing runs my coffee grinder it runs my nutribullet i'll put a graphic here to show you everything it runs and for how long it runs so it runs a lot and it runs a long time so leave your comments and thoughts below if you have one let me know that you have it and and let me know what your thoughts are about it and thank you again everyone for helping make this possible please subscribe to my channel for more rv living tips and tricks in real life and travel videos make sure you check your subscriptions make sure you're still subscribed i appreciate each and every one of you i'll see you next time